guys, it's Abby from Make Life Your Own Way, and I'm here with my weekly makeup basket. Hey! Alright, y'all, it is drugstore month. We're talking traditional drugstore, L'Oreal, Maybelline, Physicians <laughs> Formula, etc., etc. So, I'm going to briefly recap some of last week's products, and then we are going to shop my curated drugstore collection so if that sounds like something you'd like to watch then just keep watching here we go hey guys how are you doing i'm gonna adjust the camera a little bit i am hanging out here with my dog morty he's being a little busy right now uh anyways i just wanted to chat with you guys for a little while before we do our shopping of the stash i just want to say that i hope you guys are well Things are like really crazy right now with the coronavirus. Um, I don't want to spend time talking about it on my channel except for right now just to acknowledge that it's happening and I hope you are all doing well and staying safe and healthy and you and your loved ones are good. I would love to do a roll call down in the comments down below. Just let me know how you're doing, how your family's doing, and we can just kind of build a community of supporting each other. Also let us know what drugstore makeup you're using this week. So just wanted to touch on that to say that we're okay so far over here and we're just going to keep doing what we do. Jared actually his school's closed um, for three weeks as of now. Um, my gyms are still open, so I'm still working. Um, but I know that could potentially change. But as of now, we, we're okay. We're okay. So it's Friday. Hey! I'm kind of working through a new schedule as far as work, which means then a new filming schedule. So we're just kind of play with when I upload and when I film. Um, weekly makeup baskets will still be uploaded Friday night, but when I film it, I don't know. I did teach a class in this makeup, so if it's looking like a little bit rough, that's why. But let me tell you what I have on real quick. Okay, I have on, this is a Project Pan item, the L'Oreal 24 Hour Fresh. This is a little too light for me, honestly, um, but I think it blends out okay. And what else do we have on? On my eyes, I did a really simple look because I'm always like running late. I don't know how it happens, but I am wearing the NYX. This is the Ultimate Warm Neutrals Palette, and I just mix these two uh, brown shades on my lid and in the crease. Bada bing, bada boom. And then also, this my palette of the month is an affordable palette. A little palette but it's not traditional drugstore but it is the catrice um palette which is malibu beach collection so i have this bronzer here and here you know bronzer places and then i mix these two blushes together that's the blush i have on and then this highlight is like all over and then the glow that you see in the non highlighty places like on my forehead is the um l'oreal lumi glow spray so that is everything. Also, this week I did post a get ready with me that is all traditional drugstore makeup and it's a super simple look. Very similar to how I did this. So make sure you go check it out if you're curious in seeing this makeup applied. Um, okay, so let me pull out the things we are not going to use for this week so that we can shop the stash. I did do a... Um, a makeup organizational video where I went through my whole collection and pulled out these products so I'll definitely link that at the end for you guys um, but yeah alright I think that was all I wanted to really review oh except to say Amber Rush girl Amber Amber I forgot about her but I loved using this all week this is probably what I use most from what I pulled and I did enjoy the elf prep and hydrate balm under my eyes that was really nice um i continue to like the revlon photo ready and then on my lips it's in my bag but it's the throwback um maybelline vivid hot lacquer but it's the one in charmer uh yeah that's that's what's happening here okay so that's everything to recap last week so well, let's just shop our stash for next week Ooh. 
Alright guys, I have Project Pan items sitting to the side and I went ahead and cleared out the items from them because it's like a mixture of multiple uh, ongoing Project Pans. I'll have them linked for you guys. But anyways, I pulled out the ones that are true, the items that are true drugstore. So I have those sitting to the side and um, we'll kind of fill in the gap with those as we choose out items. Hey Jerry! It's weekly makeup basket. Yeah. Um, Jared just got home, so the dogs are extra tappy. Sorry if you hear that. All right, so let's go ahead and pull out our stick option, Wet n Wild Luminous Primer Stick in the Elf Prep and Hydrate Balm. This is like a nice, clear, doesn't that just look so hydrating? Like a glass of water. <laughs> Um, so we are going to pull that, and then this is the Wet n Wild Luminous one. So that's what she looks like. And to have like a non-stick option, just uh, like a liquid form, we'll go with a Project Pan item, which is the L'Oreal Lumi Glotion. I haven't actually used this. I keep pulling it, but I haven't actually used it. But this is a Project Pan item. So we'll use that. So that is everything for primer. Now for foundation. Let's just see what our options are. All right, we have these and then the L'Oreal Fresh Wear. And the L'Oreal Fresh Wear is a little bit too light and it's kind of a runny consistency. I bet it would mix really well with the L'Oreal Lumi. So, oh yeah, that looks real good, doesn't it? I find when you mix foundations, you need them to be like a similar consistency to each other. Like if one's runny, they both need to be runny. Or if one's like thicker, they both need to be thicker. So I think these would pair really well. Um, my Fresh Wear is in 415 and then a uh, Soft Ivory in 1-2 Neutral for the Lumi. Oh, I'm excited about this little combo. Okay, okay. Um, and then concealer wise, I have one in Project Pan, but it is so dark and it's not drugstore. So we'll just kind of stick with these. Oh, I love using this CoverGirl one. This Wet n Wild one is a little bit dark. We pulled that last week. And I pulled these ones a lot. So let, let's just go with the Infallible Full Wear by L'Oreal like this a lot. And plus, I did purchase these together last year. So why not let the, let the friends reunite a little bit? You know, this color for me is in 355 Vanilla. Oh, I'm like already excited for this basket. And we're not even done pulling yet. Um, all right, for... Highlight. Well, let's okay. Let's back up. Getting a little excited here. I want to pull this NYX Wonder Stick to use the um, brightening and contour side. This one is in the color Universal, and I actually like both sides. So let's pull that, and that is a Project Pan item. And we have the the palette for bronzer and blush, but I do want to go ahead and pick another highlight. I think this highlight is pretty, but I personally like mixing and matching highlights, and this one can lean a little bit more natural unless you really build it up. So I think it would be fun to pull another highlighter with it. So we have options. We have the glow kit. So we could have lots of highlighting. The master chrome. Oh, the Milani. I used this in that Get Ready With Me that I posted Monday. So you can see that in action if you're curious. It's a newer product. Oh, and then I have this. So since I used Milani, um, this is the Dulce Perla 110. We'll go ahead and put it back because I used it this week already. So that leaves these items. I did pull this recently. Um, but maybe next week we'll pull that. I actually, these are the ones I haven't pulled in a while. The NYX Master Chrome. This one is in 110 Multi Gold. 
They're nice, soft, very, very, very pigmented, as you can see. And then we have the Maybelline Chrome. This one is the Molted Rose Gold. The thing that's nice about these is they are consistent in formula among colors, and you can uh, buff it out on your face and get just a beautiful highlight. These are not natural, y'all. These are like, oh, where'd you get your highlighter from? Like, they're that kind of highlight, um, but I'm here for it. Okay, I'm really enjoying the blush that is in the California in a Box palette, and I do just mix them together for the most part. I think I'm okay not pulling um, another blush in, but you'll see through the next couple weeks, I will talk about some of these items that I'm not necessarily pulling in my basket, um, but I think we're good as far as like bronzer, blush, and highlight. Okay, I do want to pull in a setting powder, um, and th honestly, the only setting powder that I have that is drugstore, like true traditional drugstore, not like affordable, um, is the L'Oreal Infallible Loose Setting Powder, and I am actually using this in the intro when you guys saw my makeup, but this is 612 Translucent Light Medium. The only thing negative I have to say about this at this point is, um, it's messy. <laughs> like, the packaging's really messy. So, a powder kind of, like, lives its best life all over my makeup area, so that part's kind of frustrating. Um, and it is a pretty small, um, container, but other than that, the powder itself I find to be pretty nice. I do need to, like, set it with some sort of luminous spray, but other than that, um, it's pretty good. So we'll pull that to set everything. This is a blush. That's a foundation. All right, for eyeshadows, I have talked a lot about how I actually don't own a lot of drugstore eyeshadows. Um some point this month spoiler there's gonna be a makeup wish list video and so i'm gonna talk about some eyeshadow palettes in that video and you guys can kind of give me your opinion on them if you have one um but i do want to go back to the nyx advent pop i really really enjoyed this the week before last when i pulled it and this is also the palette i used in that get ready with me so and i just used these two colors in that video love it we'll go back and pull that and uh, do I want these this week? I think honestly I want to go back to Amber Rush. I'm sorry. Amber girl, we had a moment this week. I need to go back. I need to go back. All right, fine. That's great. Awesome. Lips, 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 lips. Oh, that's eyes. We pulled that lip last week. Um, we have lip liners. We pulled this one last week. And I've worn the other one pretty recently. Okay, we haven't used that one or these. My, basically we have a pretty natural, neutral look happening. So I think we can get like a little bit fun <laughs> with the lips. Although these colors aren't like screaming fun okay we're gonna put this back and we're gonna put this back and we'll grab out these and i want this one so this is milani's um lip liner zero three this one is in nude and it you know it kind of looks like that color right there and i think this color will sit really pretty under this wet and wild chic got real this is a lip gloss Oops. <laughs> yeah, I think those two would combine pretty well together. And then this is one I've decluttered, I've pulled it out, I've decluttered, I've pulled it out. But the Milani full, Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plump Lip Gloss, this one's in 07, Almost Natural. The color throws me off because it's such like a baby pink color. Um, but then I think maybe if I just actually put it over this lip liner, I might enjoy it more. And I haven't truly given the formula a good enough chance because I just am not really using it. Um, so, yeah, we'll pull that 
That'll be kind of our lip combo. And then this is a Project Pan item that we are using, which is the NYX This Is Everything lip oil. So we'll pull that out. And we're gonna wipe this off. And one thing I forgot to pull in the makeup organizational video is drugstore eyebrow products. So let me show you what I have in that category. Okay, for drugstore brows, I really enjoy the, um, oh wait, Too Faced, that's not drugstore. I enjoy the L'Oreal, and these are called the Brow Stylist. So I have one that's a little bit thicker, and then one that's thinner. I think I prefer the thinner one. I prefer the thinner one opposed to the thicker one, but they're both nice. So what colors do I have? The Thins in Dark Blonde, and okay, they're both in Dark Blonde. Let me pull one of these for the week. Let's pull the thin one. Out. And I like that it has like a nice spoolie on the end. Ooh -hoo -hoo. And then to set that cover girl. Easy, breezy, brow. Loving this, loving this, loving this. We'll pull that. Thing sprays. I'm gonna pull these two. I have the NYX Dewy Finish Spray. And there's honestly, this like went by really fast. There's not a lot in here. It's maybe down here, but I do enjoy this spray. And also the Milani Make It Do. I wanna see if I can pull this off somehow and transfer it to another uh, bottle because I just haven't got a lot of use out of it because it drops uh, as it sprays. It's not cute. Another thing I thought if I can't get this lid off to transfer it, I could just spray it on a sponge and then put it on that way. So we will pull that. But I think that's everything for the week. So let's go ahead and put it together. All right. Ooh, look at all that drugstore makeup. Ooh, love this for us. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to use this, and I'm glad that we pulled out some of the things that weren't true drugstore. Like you'll see, I pulled out my hourglass powder, my makeup revolution powder, um, the makeup forever powder. We just pulled everything out. So everything in here, with the exception of my mascara, is. Um, true drugstore makeup. I just don't have drugstore versions of these at this time. But anyways, that is everything we're going to pull for the week. Also, I'm sure you guys saw that the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty is coming. <gasps> there are some things I am going to pick up because they're just things that I want, like the Gimme Brow. <laughs> Yes, please. And there are a couple other things I can't remember off the top of my head that I want that I'm just going to go ahead and pick up while they're on sale because why not? <laughs> Let me know how you guys are doing down in the comments. Let me know what drugstore makeup you're pulling for the week. I hope you're all well. Thanks for your time today and this week. But until next week, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.